makeup artist. Has anyone done my hair? <laughs> we just got to get ready for the video. Uh, there's no one here to help us. We're on our own here, Jeannie. Yeah, um, there's the boy. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just got home from work and um, just wanted to see how our little boy was feeling because he was a bit unwell over the last four or five days and have come home to, and but the last couple of days he's improved and would we say he's almost back to normal now? So we we're pretty impressed and surprised and, and very glad, of course, that you know, when he does get the odd bout of sickness, and this is probably the first time in five or six months. Yeah, long time. He, exactly, he's been very healthy. Oh, man, he goes to childcare three, four times a week, so we were anticipating him getting sick like once a month or so, but he hasn't done that. He's been super healthy. In this video, we just want to maybe talk a little bit about what we've done as parents that might have helped him um, develop a strong immune system and and uh, you know basically stay resistant to getting sick and when he does get sick uh, getting healthy again real quick um, yeah so about this recent sickness he started off with a bit of a cough in the morning about four or five days ago and then a couple of days ago it turned into like a lot of boogers yellow mucusy non-stop runny nose and a fever yeah. and yeah with that fever he's, for, one day. Yeah. for one day it was pretty hot we gave him a bit of panadol um yeah with a fever of course he's his eyes are all droopy he's low on energy yeah. he's not just not comfortable he's not happy doing anything really so i had a little bit of panadol then the next day he was a little bit better and now the third day he's he's kicked it all by himself so it just kind of got me thinking you know is it just by chance that we happen to have a very healthy baby here or a toddler or you know decisions that mum and dad have made right from the beginning and even before he was born you know i wonder if those we would like to think that those things have contributed to us having a healthy little guy here is it, is it the center Okay, so I mean, probably going right at, back at the beginning when Jean was pregnant. I mean, Jean's a pretty healthy person anyway. Um, and it was definitely, there was no drinking, no smoking, and there's good healthy food. A calm drink and small one. No, exactly. Well, when you camp, you chose not to. Um, we wanted to do everything we could to have a healthy boy. So healthy pregnancy, there's also no real dramas or issues. You know, just had a pretty relaxed, as relaxed as possible. So, you know, well, hopefully that kind of relaxed state of being pregnant was transmitted. Well, our boy's very relaxed, actually. So, you know, maybe he had a good start when he was inside the womb. And one of our good friends, Wendy, who's a very experienced nurse, yeah. her piece of information that she was very passionate about sharing with us and I'm not sure if I get the right words here but she was just saying look when you give birth specifically ask the nurses to allow at least 15 minutes um, after the baby has come out before the cord gets cut and her rationale behind that was because there's so many nutrients that are within that umbilical cord or the placenta or both of those things that um, by giving it time it allows those nutrients to drain back into the child the baby and that is just so nourishing uh, and beneficial for the child's health and their immune system and all of that as well so we were really lucky to have great nurses yeah i mean the, the pregnancy the giving birth part was pretty hard i mean <laughs> maybe we'll talk about that in another video but uh, these nurses were extremely accommodating so baby came out and was able to you know have skin on skin contact with mum right from the beginning 
and mum and baby were able to sort of bond and connect for the next, maybe it was even 20 or 30 minutes where you guys were there. About a half an hour, we were able to all stay connected. Well, the baby and mum were still connected. And then daddy cut the cord. Great. So we were pretty happy that we were able to achieve what our good friend Wendy was highly recommending because she's got a child. Her child is probably 19 now. Yeah. Um, and has turned out really well and really healthy. So great start. It's a great start to life. Um, a bit challenging initially to start the breastfeeding, but we knew the breastfeeding was the best. Uh, there's a whole lot of antibodies, I think within breast milk um, that prime the immune system so he's been he was exclusively breastfed until six months um, no formula just breast milk still on the breast milk actually um, so he's 12 months old still on the breast milk but he's been having healthy solid foods now for six months and those solid foods predominantly are fruits and vegetables um, no processed foods exactly um, nothing salty just been fruits and veg complementing the breast milk kids happy family life is pretty relaxed trying to get a good balance of outdoor play indoor play activity rest stimulating games around the house but we're just trying to make the experience fun trying not to over complicate parenthood i think we feel like if he's having fun and he's, he's always laughing and having a great time then we're, we're probably doing something right mm -hmm. and uh yeah, if the boy's happy Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Bye -bye. so good pregnancy good birth uh breast milk good food just good happy times around the house and okay maybe we got lucky with a great child and maybe those things have also helped um, us have a healthy baby so glad that you feel better son glad that you feel better so bye -bye. <laughs> bye -bye. thanks for watching folks and uh hopefully we can help in some way hit like subscribe all that stuff we'll catch you next time bye